what we have today, we'll be talking about how to become a pro trader. Okay, how to become a pro trader, how to become a pro trader in this session. You learn what makes a pro trader, what makes a pro trader having an extensive knowledge of the market, acquiring emotional discipline. Okay, acquiring emotional discipline, choice of financial instruments, an A game risk management tactic. Okay, an A game risk management tactic. That's what we're talking about on today's webinar. Now, becoming a pro trader, okay? Becoming a pro trader. While there are certain universal traits peculiar to all traders, see, beginners and professional traders have a distinct way of participating in the financial markets. Beginners may think that professional traders have access to some proprietary information, which makes them adapt at recognizing trends and taking quick trade decision but the difference actually lies in their level of experience see there's no difference from you and i being a trader the only difference is the experience i've garnered in the markets the experience of me understanding how price will deliver that's just the difference between me being a pro trader and someone being a beginner trader okay it's just the experience that's the difference between them and if you get very, very close to a professional trader, all the experience they, has, they have gathered over a long period of time, you can gather such experience within, within a certain short period of time because you don't need to make the mistakes, the losses, or anything they've made that made them still remain in the beginner zone, okay? They will give you all that experience. They will explain all those experience to you and help you level up okay they'll help you level up better 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 they will, that's how what they'll do for you they'll help you level up and become better still under becoming a pro trader okay professional traders have learned how to trade the market through constant practice they've learned how to trade the financial market through constant practice research and development over the years okay they've been able to understand how to trade the financial markets by constantly practicing constantly researching and constantly developing themselves their strategy their risk management plan their emotions over the years see becoming a pro trader is one of the easiest thing in the world but how many of you are willing to put in the work how many of you of you are willing to put in the work see as a pro trader they've tried or when when someone is a pro trader they've tried and tested many strategies see they've tried and tested many strategies They've measured the results and compared the outcomes before settling on what gives them their desired results. They've, they've, they've tried and tested many strategies. I've tried and tested many strategies before I settled for smart money concepts. I've measured the results of the different strategy and compared it to smart money concepts before I settled for smart money concepts because it gave me my desired results. More importantly is the psychological approach. See, as a professional trader, Controlling emotion is the easiest of things, okay? And this is what regular traders, beginner traders find very difficult to do. If you want to become a pro trader, if you can master how to control your emotions, if you can master how to control your emotions, you are part of the 1%, the 1% that have left the circle of uninformed trader and you are now in the paradigm shift okay you're now in the paradigm shift where you can scale and become a professional trader that's an informed trader okay that's where you can scale and become an informed trader once you can control your emotions see controlling emotion or talking about emotions in the financial markets is very very underrated but the truth is everybody needs to learn how to master and control their emotions as a trader and that's how you become a professional trader that's how you become a pro trader that's how you become a profitable trader now before we hop into <clears throat> the extensive knowledge aspect i just sent out a poll right now a very very simple poll please let's all respond to it okay please let's all respond to it okay thank you very much you can go to the poll section 
and respond to the polls real quick. Respond to the polls real quick. Okay, I just said the pro trader is the person who makes money consistently with lesser losses. Brilliant. Like that's a pro trader in one, like lesser losses, very, very key. Small losses. See, there's something I'll tell you, which is very, very true. Uh, is the fact that <clears throat> sorry, um as a trader, once you master your emotions you'll be able to make more profits and make lesser losses. You'll be able to make quick decisions in the market that will be fruitful for you, okay? You'll be able to make quick decisions in the market that will be fruitful for you. So we have um, 20 people on the session. Please, let's respond to the polls, okay? I'm just having a very, very small figure. Okay, please, let's respond to the poll. Thank you very much. Please let's do respond to the poll. Thank you very, very much. Okay. And to those that said they don't have a trading account with us at Eagle Global Markets, at EG Markets, you can sign up a trading account with us using the link below. Using the link below. I just sent the link right now in the chat box. You can sign up a trading account with us using that link. Okay. You can sign up a trading account with us using that link. Now, <clears throat> let's dive right into the extensive knowledge aspect of trading global financial market <clears throat> extensive knowledge about the financial markets one of the main reasons why beginners lose money in trading the financial market is their lack of knowledge lack of knowledge that's one reason why beginners lose money in trading the global financial markets Professional traders are on a constant journey, constant journey to understand how the markets work and are consist constantly analyzing technicals and fundamental data in order to formulate a trading strategy. The main reason why you are losing money is because of your lack knowledge in the financial markets. To be a professional trader, you must be ready to be on that journey to always learn from people that are better than you and from people that are even know lesser than you okay regular on newbie traders on the, on the other hand are content with minimal knowledge don't be contented with small knowledge in the financial market because the financial market is forever evolving okay you need to shy away from not wanting to understand every aspect of the market you, you need to understand every aspect of the market because they all <clears throat> go into one another they all go into one another. This includes learning about trading strategies, knowing when to enter and exit the market, understanding the impact of economic release. I met a trader once, and the trader told me he doesn't like fundamental analysis. He doesn't like to check fundamental analysis. He doesn't like to understand the impact of economic releases. Then I told him, how is this trading going? He said he used to take losses, sometimes during um, 1 p.m., sometimes during 2 p.m., sometimes during 10 a.m. And I told him, has he ever tried to figure out why he takes losses during this period of time? He said, no, that he just believes it's the market doing this thing with too much price action or volatility in the market. Then I explained to him that these are the period of time where news events tends to come out in the European zone and also in the United States zone. When he went back to check, he found out that that was the truth and he was forced to learn technical analysis, sorry, fundamental analysis, so as not to lose money during this period of time so you basically need to learn all these factors add all these factors together so as to be able to be consistently profitable and that's what basically separates the boys from the men emotional discipline is another perspective okay another aspect of this inexperienced traders are often in a rush to beat the market chase trends and win big hmm? always in a rush to beat the market chase trends and win big see number one you can never beat the market number two you can never chase a trend number three you can win big but if you do any of those two if you start trying to beat the market if you start trying to chase the trend you can't win big in the financial markets with all of this, if you do all of this, you may become overconfident after a few success, a few winning trades, and end up over trading and getting into unnecessarily high leverage during due to FOMO, fear of missing out. See, 
whenever I take three, 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 whenever I have three straight wins in the financial market, I step back. I look at the market scenario. The reason I step back is because of I always have this urge to trade more. Having this urge to trade more, having this urge to trade more, having this urge to trade more is what will make me end up giving back the market every profit I made from those three trades and even small of my capital. When I understood that if I've made three profitable trades and it has equated to six from the range of six to 20% of my trading accounts, I try as much as possible to stay away from the markets because the market can be very, very deadly. Once you feel overconfident, once you feel you can conquer the market. Yes, all markets can be conquered if you know how to approach the markets the right way. In short, once you lack emotional discipline, your emotions is what will take control of your trading decisions. And this could result in magnified, like very, very big losses. And this is, however, not a strange thing to even most professional traders in history. You can go and check the track of a lot of professional traders, big professional traders. They've gone through this phase before. And you as a trader right now, if you take a, a small loss, you start shaking, you start, you start feeling bad, you start making your emotions take the decision before you'll be waiting for a return to an order block. Now you just see price react to you want to enter into the trade before you wait for breaking market structure. Because of you lost trades before, you're letting your emotion, you don't even want to wait for break the market area. You believe price should just start going your direction. You start taking trades, start dishing out, clicking buy and sell randomly. That's how you lose money. Okay. And truth is, a lot of people have come into my inbox on Telegram, on WhatsApp, and they've confessed to falling prey to emotions. Okay. And I had to just explain to them how the importance of patience and discipline in trading is. And it's basically the hard way. If you don't calm down and learn to be patient and disciplined when you're trading, you will learn to be patient and disciplined in trading the hard way. Okay, you will learn it the hard way. After you've lost a lot of money, lost a lot of money, you decide you are not willing to lose money any longer, then you start taking caution of everything you start doing. Rather, you could have just be calm and be disciplined when you were trading the easy way and not lose money. Okay, so you don't want to learn how to be calm how to be patient, how to be disciplined when trading the hard way. Trust me, the hard way will hurt you. It will hurt you very bad because you lose a lot of money, okay? You want to learn how to do it the easy way, the very most easy way, okay? That's all you want to do when it comes to your emotions and being disciplined. Now, the next thing is choice of financial instrument, okay? Choice of financial instrument as a trader. I will tell you the truth. I will tell you the simple truth. We have, before I dive into what is even on the slide, we have 28 major currency pair, okay? 28 major currency pair. We have 28 major currency pair. We have 28 major currency pair. We have 28 major currency pair in the financial markets, okay? 28 major currency pair in the financial markets 28 major currency pair in the financial markets 28 major currency pair 28 you can make money from everything trust me you can make money from everything you can basically make a lot of money from everything and you can lose a lot of money trading everything but truth be told you don't want to trade all the major 28 currency pairs you don't want to trade all the major 28 currency pairs. You want to capitalize on less so that you can make more. I hope you get what I'm saying. You want to capitalize on less so you can make more. Capitalize on less so you can make more. Instead of trading the old 28, why don't you just pick three that you are comfortable with and trade it consistently that you understand the price action to the fact that if you are woken from your sleep and someone asks you, where is... GBP USD going to, you know where it is going to. Where is AUD USD going to, you know where it is going to. Where is EUR USD going to, you know where it is going to. Where is DXY dollar, where is it going to, you know where it is going to. Why don't you do that? So that you have more control over the profits, over the reactions of price in the financial markets. Why don't you do that? You see, let's go to this slide. What separates 
boys from the men all the stock traders you see drive a lot of cars drive a lot of fancy have a, live in a fancy house this is what they do and this is one thing i've learned so far by relating with them a lot more i know traders that only trade us 30. i know traders that only trade nasdaq i know traders that only trade er usd i know traders that only trade gbp usd i know traders that only trade dollar you see for novins for instance you see forex novins for instance usually prefer major currency pairs like ERUSD or GBPUSD, where liquidity risk tends to be low. And they are heavily traded, which means the spreads are tighter, the risk of slippage is lower than most other Forex pairs, okay? Professional traders, they actually like to trade cross-currency pairs and minors because of its a lot of liquidity, a lot of liquidity, like the USD TRY, the AUD JPY, but since cross-currency pairs trading can be very risky, especially in emerging market currencies, which tends to be plagued by geopolitical instabilities, and pro traders make sure they do their research first and foremost. No matter what financial instrument you're trading, research first is the most important thing. Like, you need to research that financial instrument. That's why the internet is there. All informations are available to you. All informations. Are available to you that's one thing we keep on missing we keep on misunderstanding as traders all informations at your fingertips all informations are at your fingertips because of the internet it's made it easy very very easy another thing that separates full traders from the rest is understanding the correlations between different currencies and other assets like precious metal and crude oil i've talked about correlations like four times more than four times um when it comes to trading on webinars here yeah, i've talked about correlations one or four times i talked about correlation when it comes to the dollar i've talked about correlation when it comes to oil and 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 methyls i've talked about correlations a lot of times and if you understand correlation how it works hmm, you are a step ahead you are a step ahead of literally everybody in the markets because you know this is likely to happen and you are ready to capitalize on it you know if this goes up this will come down if this does this this will do this you already understand all of that and you're willing to capitalize on it the a game risk management tactic the a game risk management tactic the a game risk management tactic you see risk management is very very key and i've spoken about risk management a lot of times a lot of times i've spoken about risk management a lot of times and most people think it is not needed see if you don't manage your risk if you don't manage your risk they will manage you they'll manage you whenever you start crying that you lose money they'll manage you when the market starts slapping you around the A game risk management tactic. See, trading the financial markets is very, very risky. Very, very risky. Very not just risky, but very, very risky. And you see, the truth is, for you to be profitable, or for you to actually, for you to actually be wealthy, you need to take risk. That's the truth. You don't get rich by sitting around or doing or just sitting around doing nothing. You get rich by taking risks. You get wealthy by taking risks. Those that don't take risks never get wealthy. I will tell you the truth. If you don't take a leap to start that business, you won't get wealthy. If you don't take that step to start that business, you won't get wealthy. Okay? And that is the truth. Trading the finance, that's why the trading financial market is risky. That's why you have to, you have to, you have to take that risk. Start. With a demo account, I even I don't even advise demo accounts. Just start. Okay, I just sent out a poll right now. Please let's respond to it. Are we all following? Are we all following? I just sent out a poll right now. Please let's respond to it. Okay. While a new trader might fear it, experienced ones, experienced traders. It's it's already a slide. I can't edit the slide. Very sorry, promise. But next time I will try to make my fonts bigger. Okay. Okay. Um why a new trader might fear it experienced traders understand and accept it and deploys strategy to manage risk always manage your risk when trading 
always understand you are willing to lose a certain amount to make a certain amount if there is a trade setup i am looking at hmm? if there is a trade setup i am looking at if there is a trade setup i'm looking at i always want to i always want to risk a certain amount to make that certain amount so let's take for instance AUD USD is going to buy i understand it's going to buy and also i've come to understand that it could sell okay but i'm more interested in taking the buys so what i basically do is for this buy trade I want to risk twenty dollar to make hundred dollar. That means, in case it goes against me, I will only lose twenty dollar. If it goes, if it goes in my direction, I will make hundred dollar. That's risk management. That's a layman explanation of risk management. See, professionals have long accepted that risk is an integral part of their job. If you work nine to five, your job is not guaranteed. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you facts. If you wake up early morning to work and you come back late at night, your job is not guaranteed. That's how you must manage risk. Manage risk by start trading the global financial markets. By starting to trade the global financial markets. By starting to trade global financial markets. That's how you manage risk of protecting yourself if you get laid off from your job. That's one step. And as a trader, you understand that risk is an integral part of your job. By trading, you understand risk is an integral part of your job. So you make decisions accordingly. This includes everything from their choice of instruments to lot size, to execution mode, to trading hour, to leverage ratio, to position of stop losses. I tell you the truth, and I'll tell you the truth. The Forex market, just the Forex market alone, is a $6.6 .6 trillion market, more than $6.6 .6 trillion market. $6.6 .6 trillion market is like the 2017 census done about the Forex market. That's still the only valid, thing, but I'm sure it's up to a quadrillion now up to a quadrillion now okay but let's still stick on the 6.6 6.6 .6, .6, .6 .6 trillion dollar market nobody's telling you how much you should earn all you need to do is just go there and decide this is how much you will earn today approach it and you earn it and leave nobody's telling you how much this is how much you should earn today nobody's telling you this nobody you are your own boss when you trade you approach the market your own way you resume to trade the market your own way. You decide to close your business, which is trading, in the same time you finish making profits. You Nobody has got no control over it. That's why I tell you, the easiest way to grow your wealth, the easiest way to get wealthy is by trading global financial markets. And that's one truth, one simple truth. Okay. All you need to do is write a mail to support at Eagle Global Markets, Augustine. They will get that sorted um, to you. Support at EagleGlobalMarkets.com. Okay, that's the mail. Now, concluding everything I've talked about so far. See, not all newcomers can advance to becoming professional traders. This is because of the first market is hounded by the myths that money can be made easily. The truth is, money can be made easily in the forex market. It is not a myth, okay? It's not a myth at all. But the truth is, don't come with that mindset, okay? Come with the mindset of you wanting to enjoy and understand the process of making money. Once you come with the mindset that you want to enjoy and understand the process of making wealth stress-free, the rewards, the profits will follow. Don't come with the mindset, I want to make I, I, was, I just started trading today. I want to make $50,000. Yes, you can make $50,000 today if you start trading today. But remember, that mindset will not sustain you. Okay? Forex trading requires perseverance, dedication, and a learning mindset, which is what 90% of people that come into trading the global financial market lack. They lack perseverance. They lack dedication. They lack learning mindset. They want to start. I, 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 there's this scenario I like to use, and I'll use it again. Sorry to anybody that feels hot about this scenario, but why is it that we are very, very comfortable with going to school for four to five years? Let's include strike six years again okay, in the country. Let's include strike six years. We are comfortable with going to school six years, but we are not uh, to before we get the certificate, but we are not comfortable with dedicating one year to learn how to trade the global financial markets. While currently trading, you are learning, okay? You are trading alongside your learning. You start trading alongside your learning. You're not comfortable with giving yourself 
a one year span before you start trying to make massive profits from the market why you see that's just the problem and at the same time it isn't that professional traders never face losses i lose money also i make mistakes also but it is how i deal with it that makes me stand apart that makes professional traders stand apart if i lose money i don't get angry i don't get mad at people i don't get vexed i don't get vexed at the office or nothing no i just stay calm i take a cup of coffee i stay calm i eat good food then i look at why did i lose money then i look for an opportunity to make the money i lost and make more of it that's how i do it that's how professional traders do it they don't get vexed that they lost a certain amount of money no not at all they seek to learn from the losses and adopt ways not to repeat such mistakes again that's the truth this is why you might find many professional traders using a trading journal system i tell everybody please have a trading journal have a journal have a journal have a journal please have a journal somewhere you jot your trades your results somewhere you jot it somewhere you jot it somewhere you put it down hmm? have it so that you understand why you lose this trade and you can go back and review it so you can record your strategies the reason for implementing them and in cases of losses you can find out what exactly caused the losses that is it on becoming a professional trader it is very very easy it is very very easy all you need to do is put in the work to becoming a professional if you don't put in the work the results will not come if you don't put in the work the results will not come okay if you don't put in the work the results will not come that's why you have to put in the work you have to put in the work so that's all thank you very much for joining me on today's webinar